the goal of the project is to enhance the capacity internally of these communities as well as service providers who go into the community to um, deliver services, especially um, in disaster risk reduction, health and hygiene, and post-disaster relief. Um, our aim is to be able to um, enhance this capacity to establish transparent and equitable delivery of these services. We'll be having specialized training, like for instance, we'll be forming community disaster response teams. We have already, in, in most of 59 communities that we have worked with since 2006, formed this group. Um, we've trained them, the community disaster response teams are those within their community who are their first responders in times of disaster. They are also passed on to strengthen the national response system through NEMO. Um, and, and actually the training is done with NEMO's assistance. So we'll be doing that in all these 16 communities. And we'll also be refreshing 10 other communities outside of the project communities that we have worked with before and who had been trained who have um, trained community disaster response teams. We'll also be introducing them to um, disaster risk reduction, um, specialized training, like for instance, in search and rescue, shelter management, water, and pr probably water, some water and sanitation. Um, it also has a component of violence prevention and um, health and hygiene. We're, using, we're introducing them to the FAST, P-H-A-S-T, which is a participatory, and a pa participatory hygiene and sanitation transformation. It's a very simple, user-friendly way of meeting families at the grassroots level. So we can, we can teach them about good hygiene practices, how to handle or how to manage your solid waste, garbage disposal, and you know, typical hand washing and, and to, to build and to establish and to adopt good hygiene practices. And we'll be introducing them to, to assessments, carrying out mapping of their communities um, through electronic um, devices. Yeah, so it's a little modern way of carrying out your assessments, cutting time in more than half, and, and putting those communities and those houses that have never made it on a map, on the map. And this, this will then um, help in future development of plans, programs, and, and designs of other projects.